Hello YouTube, this is Jessica from Stanway Piquets. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue uh, talking about basic stereography, and I'm going to be showing you, in the last tutorial, if you recall, I show you how to hide a WAV file and an spectrogram image uh, inside of uh, another image. Uh, in this, that is very handy for certain applications. But in this, uh, in this tutorial and the next tutorial, I will show you how to hide an image inside of another image without having to use Audacity, without having to use spectrograms, without having to use any of those uh, software packages. So let's get started. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to add a channel, an alpha channel. If you don't know what an alpha channel is, you can go to this uh, Wikipedia webpage here where they explain uh, the RGBA color space. If uh, you watch some of my videos in OpenCV, you more likely you do know what an RGBA uh, color space is. You have RGB, you have RGBA. Uh, only certain formats uh, allow the uh, alpha channel. TIFF images and uh, JPEGs do not allow the alpha channel. It's something to keep in mind. But if you have, if you want to learn more about uh, how it works, you can go to this web page. And it, as you recall in my last tutorial, I'll show you how to use uh, WAV files um, and a spectrogram images. We're not going to do that in this one. So the way to do it, let's open an image. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use GIMP. And if you don't know what don't know what GIMP is, it's a GNU image manipulation program. It comes with uh, most Linux distributions for free. You can go and download it. Now I'm going to open an image that I have here. Let's just go to YouTube. Uh, images tutorial and then I'm going to open this image right here which is the Mona Lisa and it's a PNG file and uh, of course it says there RGB right but let's open it using image magic because I want to make sure you understand the difference here some of you might know this but this is for the people that don't know. If I go, if I open the image with uh, Image Magic and I go to, to Image Info, I can see that there's three channels RGB. Okay. But now, if I take that same image and now I take that PNG image, which is an RGB image, and I go to Layer, Transparency, Add Alpha Channel. Now, I just added an alpha channel to it. So now, I'm going to save it. So I can show you. Oops, we can save. We have to export. I always forget that. Export us. And then, instead of Mona PNG, because I don't want to overwrite it, I'm going to call it Mona Alpha. Okay. Then, export. And hit enter, then export, and hopefully did it. Let's check here. Uh, images, uh, YouTube, stereo, images, tutorial, and there it is. Okay, they look ident identical, but as you can see, if we open it using uh, Now I'm going to open this one with with uh, image viewer. Let's use an image viewer so I'm use I'm able to use the other one. Okay, so this is this one, and now I want to open with that one, image magic. And now I have two images open, which are these two images right here. And this is the image info of that image. And this is the image info of this image. And as you can see, everything is almost the same, but there's an extra channel here. 
it's called the alpha channel and it mostly everything is the same with one very very important thing especially for us that are trying to take advantage of that if you can see here for the EDC image it says transparent transparent color is black for this image it says transparent color none that's the alpha image background color is white background color is white why is that important I will show you why is that very important so when you let's say that you open these images let's close these ones and let's keep the one that is open in GIMP okay so now you go here and this is the PNG if I select and let's say that I select a rectangle and I take this I'm going to eliminate her nose and her mouth and I go inside there and I hit delete this is the alpha image as you can see it became transparent but if I do the same thing, this card changes, but if I do the same thing to the other image, the PNG RGB image, which is this one, and I do the same thing to it, let's move it, okay, and I'll do the same thing I did to the other one, and hit delete as you can see is white and that's exactly where the advantage where we're going to take advantage of that transparency in order to include another image inside of it and that's why the alpha the images that we are going to be using as png because of that alpha channel uh, and I will be showing you in the next tutorial how we can take advantage uh, of doing that. And uh, if you don't have GIMP and you don't want to use GIMP or for X reason you want to use Python to convert one image from PNG into alpha. I mean with GIMP it's very easy. I show you how to do it. Just add a channel. But if you are if you want to do it without Python uh, without GIMP this is just using Python code so I'm gonna show you this one here and so that way you know how to do it both ways you can do it to stop it and let me show you the code here and this uh, clear nano convert and it's very simple it's just using image from the Python imaging library. So opening Mona is uh, converting it to RGBA color space, is getting all the data from here and putting it into that variable. And then it's just looping for each pixel value. And as you can see, you can see the four channels. You can see RGB and the alpha channel. And then it's gonna create another image called IMG PNG. And let's do it. This is for people that just want to use Python instead of GIMP. So all you need to do is do Python convert PNG to RGBA. And as you can see, it's done. And that's the no image. And if we display that one, IMG2 is this one. And if we look at the image information, we'll find out that it's going to be an alpha image alpha channel and there it is the alpha channel so you can do it using the python code or you can use it using uh, gimp or inkscape but uh, in the next tutorial i'll show you how we can take advantage of that alpha channel to uh, hide our image and i will do that in the next tutorial but if you like this tutorial please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next tutorial with some fun applications that we can uh, learn from. Take care. Thanks for watching.